Hi there. Welcome back to another video. In this video we will look at causes and risk factors for uterine fibroids. Fibroids are benign tumors that develop in a female uterus. Tumors develop if cells divide abnormally and very quickly, forming a mass in the body. Uterine fibroids can grow rapidly or they may grow slowly and remain the same size for years. Researchers do not know exactly what causes uterine fibroids to develop in some women and not others. However, researchers do know that they are controlled by hormones, specifically estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen and progesterone are natural hormones that a female patient's body produces in the ovaries and they play a role in uterine fibroid development. These hormones are important for maintaining reproductive health and fertility, including regulating menstruation, preparing for pregnancy, and developing secondary sex characteristics. It is natural for these hormones to fluctuate. For example, hormone levels rise during pregnancy and they decline during menopause. That is why uterine fibroids usually disappear during menopause. Let's look at some risk factors. 1. Family history. Research states that uterine fibroids may run in families. If you have a relative that experienced uterine fibroids, it may increase your risk to develop them as well. 2. Age, race, and ethnicity. According to research, fibroids are most common in women between 30 and 40 years old, and the risk increases with age. But after menopause, they usually shrink because your hormone levels naturally fall. Researchers also suggest that uterine fibroids are more common in African-American patients, but it is not clear why. 3. Diet. Some research associates uterine fibroids with dietary choices. For example, if you eat a lot of red meat and ham, it may increase the risk. In addition, there may be a connection with alcohol consumption as well. A healthier diet with green vegetables may reduce the risk, according to research. However, there is not a definite connection between diet and uterine fibroids. 4. Weight and Obesity Weight and obesity also play a role in uterine fibroids. According to research, the risk is two to three times greater for obese women, but physicians do not know if the fibroids develop because of the extra weight itself. 5. Childbearing and birth control. Research also suggests that childbearing and birth control methods may play a role. Specifically, physicians notice less fibroids in women who have given birth more than once and in those who have taken oral contraception for several years. To learn more about fibroids, please check out the playlist displayed above. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.